I started to wear my bell bottom today, yeah, actually. When, when, peace sign. No, we like, call them flare. Oh, you know, we lie. We are live. You hit live. Peace signs and uh, peace sign and flare and all that. I started to wear my bell bottom, but it's just so hot outside. I see. We are live. Hello. Good morning. What is uh Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> How you all doing? Robert Henderson, Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, live here in beautiful studios with my beautiful daughter, who's going back throwback, lip liner, 1970. I was trying to tell you that we wear lip liner. It's not in the 1970s. We have been wearing lip liner. It never went away. No? No. Yeah, it did went away. Let the funky chicken dance. I don't start doing the funky chicken. Women, we 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 never stopped wearing lip liner, sir. (laughs) Power to the woman. I right. I just it, it I'm happy that you don't know that women wear lip liner and you think that it was only something in the 70s. But here Why we are. You have to, I, I, I mean, I didn't think they were bringing that back. But anyway, it never went anywhere. That's the point. Anything goes. <laughs> Who's that? What's Actually, up, I have on a up, double Shay? liner. Up, my, my lips are double lined. Shay, today. Shay, Shay. What's up, Mario? What's up, Mario? How y'all doing? Here with my daughter Hyacinth, uh riding it out here. Uh um, you want me to take over? Uh, well, you're doing that anyway. No, okay. you- <laughs> we got a great show lined up today, though, because today we're going to talk about the power of relationships. Right. And a lot of people take that for granted. They just think that, you know, don't not, no, that's a big deal. It ain't, it ain't always what you know is who you know. Mm-hmm. How can you get the answers? That's mm-hmm. a, a very important. Mm-hmm. But before we go into that, daughter, mm-hmm. I want you to introduce yourself to the world. I know they already know who you are because you're all on social media. Man. You got, I sure am. I love that. Over social media. I Goodness love that. Crazy. You know, I was listening to something about. People in the second grade haven't called you back. Old boyfriends. Old... Oh, yeah, they do. They call all the time. Oh, As a matter of <laughs> All the time. And they call the office. They do? Yes. My office. Your office. office. This isn't the first time this happened. They call the office looking for you? I mean, I always say good thing you <laughs> From the second grade, second you were grade? doing something with oh your life. God. They're like Henderson, highest oh, Henderson. No, they literally do. Wow. They call the office and they confess the and grade, how they miss grade. me in high school. And yeah, how they and out of high school and stuff like too? that. That's what we're talking about. Oh my God. Yeah. And they still want you? <laughs> Probably, but I mean, you know what I always yeah, say? I mean, yeah, you confess. So, yeah, you got more money. Right. Than it's it's it's, it's not about just because, oh, you're the one for me. I mean, if I was under the tree, they wouldn't be looking for no, me. No, no. Right? But thanks to the internet. You're not 500 pounds. You're still right. you know, beautiful. And I can you, tell you something. You got money. You speak well. And you so know they something. Call, I never tell them that I have money because they need money. They can look at you and tell you. <laughs> you think so? I'm not. I'm not pretending. No, well. no, no, no. You no. don't. You don't like you broke, busted, and disgusted. You know. No, you don't. Darn. Like that. Even though I don't talk about money, just the way you talk sounds like you know something. You know what a verb is and, and an adjective <laughs> and a noun is. Absolutely. You, you look correct. like you, name, you. You look like you have least been out of Florida. Right. You look like you've you've traveled. You know what I was thinking about today? Then we're going to introduce me. Maybe you can help me with this. So in my mind, the vision that I have for myself is to be on the beach. That's not hard, right? Okay. You do do it all the time. On the beach with access to fresh fruit. So I envision myself eating fresh mango, pineapple, strawberries. And when I roll over the other way, I see an island man making fresh fish, catching the fish and roasting the fish right on the beach. <laughs> go to one of the islands. So you get but that. which one? Anyone. Go to Nevis. Nevis. Okay. Nevis I, but I want, and I need to have that. Jamaica probably has it. I mean. Jamaica, I love because I can get the food off the side of the road and right. I really enjoy getting food off the side right. of the road. Well, jerk everything. Jerk, jerk, But I jerk. want it on the beach. You're missing that part. No, but if you go to Nevis, you know, okay. go to Nevis, somewhere like that, you can, uh, you know, it's it's. it's I want to just right roll there. over the man cooking a fresh fish and all that right there on the beach. You can pay for that ninety five. I know. I I'm, I want to pay for it. Listen, listen. <laughs> or somebody's son pay just, for that's, it. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's not good. That's not. A, so you have enough to pay for. You don't even have somebody's son pay for. What? It. <laughs> but you know, just a thought like that. If you want that, you know, you know, go to Grenada. Okay, Mrs. Redhead, I'm gonna call you afterwards. Okay, yeah. Because I, I really, I said I need to. I Grenada know that when good. I put it out there. It will come, and I need to be there Hey, you now. were just telling me about Aruba. Now, you telling me Grenada over Aruba? I was just telling my, my wife about Aruba. I mean, you Let me tell you, all the all the people my generation, they were just in Aruba for a week. Yeah? Partying hardy. Oh, man. Aruba used to be clean and clean and <laughs> down. Now, they done discovered Aruba? Oh, my God. It's like they are. You talk about me. Oh, my the God. Point- so that's the, it, it is the new Cancun? Aruba is? They were there for a week. Oh, my that's God. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I know they left beer cans and t- soda and all. I, get, I bet you couldn't even get a good fresh tote of fresh air. Everywhere you went, you feel like you was getting high. Huh? Oh, man. That's how I, I was. That's how I was when I went to New York. You know, I went mm-hmm. to New York to see uh, uh, that week I was out. 
last Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was out because uh, I took. Uh, was that, that last week or the week before? Probably a week before. Week before. I, I went to New York to see a play. Also, mm-hmm. uh, mom wanted to uh, see the Michael Jackson uh, uh, play. It was mm-hmm. totally good, more than I mm-hmm. even expected. I just went along with her, but I was like, wow. I was wild with the production, you know. But I think when you walk out, you know, in Times Square, you can't even find clean air. It's just all weed. weed, mm-hmm. weed. It's, it's like an invasion, you know. All of a sudden, you got some good oxygen, and you all mm-hmm. of a sudden, you got some good oxygen, and you're strolling down the street in Times Square, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you get high too. No, I know you didn't want to get high, I mean, but here goes some hotness it, for it's you. It's like an intrusion, it's like a violation, it's an invasion. Didn't ask for it. all of a sudden you breathing. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like holy cow, <laughs> Jesus, you gotta find. I don't know how that's so cool. Who just want to be high all day? The majority, you think so? Yeah, it's obvious. Wow, the majority, but this is why you and I stand out. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so, so let's do introduction. Nice. So we're talking about that. But so Hyacinth, I am Hyacinth Henderson, Hyacinth like the flower. The name of our company is the Henderson Financial Group. We are a full service, full service financial planning and investment advisory firm. We are based in sunny South Florida. However, we have clients all over the world, not just the U.S. Yes, the world, world, world. And we're not the stuck world. up, as you can see, we're not the stuck up world, kind of world, financial world. advisors yeah. and certified financial planner. Yeah. You know, most certified financial planner, you, you go to the convention, it's like going to a multi-convention. Oh convention. They're like, oh, they think they're so smart and all that. And we're down to earth. You know, we talk to you like a six-year-old. Mm-hmm. We break it down. We have all the credentials, but yes, we, we haven't drank the Kool-Aid. We're just yeah. going to bring it to you in layman's talk and explain mm-hmm. it to you so you can say, ah, I get it. That's our motto. That's what we do. Break it down to you, to you like you're a six-year-old, you know? Even though we have all the licenses, I'm a real estate broker since 1979. We do a lot of real estate. Now we get more into development and, and building because you want to be a wholesale and scratch, you know? want to buy more land because God ain't making, I mean, they're just not making any more land on the planet. But we have all the credentials, stockbroker, investment advisor, certified financial planner, certified tax coach, insurance why you, advisor. Why do you think we're so down to earth? Because we just haven't drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. We haven't drank the Kool-Aid because it is what it is. I mean, you don't have to really get your nose up and make you better than somebody because you didn't know. Because at one time, we didn't know. Remember? Everything that we learned at one time, we didn't know. <laughs> okay, don't go there. I didn't say anything. Okay, don't go there. <laughs> in this lifetime. Because <laughs> you know I was going, okay, taking I, it back. I know that. She's talking about all the lives. You know, all the Are you sure I never knew? Okay, well, I'm just saying. There is a knowing. I'm doing this time around, <laughs> this person. We had to remember. We had to get in remembrance. This do in right. remembrance. Yeah, me. because every so. time we don't, every time we learn something, we're so excited. We're like, oh my God, we didn't know that. It's been on the planet for a long time. So then we get excited and we share it with you. And that's mm-hmm. what we like doing with discoveries. You're more like financial physicians, right? Mm-hmm. And financial therapists. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Tara called me that the other day. She said, Money therapy, you're like a money therapist, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, like, because, oh. And on Wednesday, you know, we talk more about the mind and, and, and the ingredients, Mindset things. Yep. things that you really need in order to have you more equipped to be successful. Because if you have the money, so I, my group on th- uh, last Thursday, we were in the office and I did, took them through an exercise, and why don't you have this and this? And the number one answer was money. And I was like, forget money, your money is easy. And they were like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Money is easy. Now, what's the next reason why don't you have X, Y, Z? And they said fear. They all almost unanimously said fear. Hmm. And so money is always the result. Right. However, the masses are focused on the money. And when you are focused on the money and not the bigger picture, you're always going to lose out. So you may seem that you're getting money right now in the beginning, but down the line, unless you shift your focus and stop making it all about the money, stop making your focus the money, it won't be long before you don't have any. And this actually is a great segue into our topic today about the power of relationships. I believe when you were not here, I took the liberty to la- label it, you need relationships. What do you think about that? You like that? Yeah, I like that. Okay, you do so need you need relationships. Whether you knew it or not. Whether you know it or not. And this is this is very important. I, I would, I'm going to go on record saying the more, and it's not even about the amount the richer your relationships are, the richer you will be. True. So, and when I'm saying relationships, I'm not talking about people that you know True. or people who you may work with or just people who you know on a surface level where there is no deep relating going back and forth. 
you just know this person. So that's the first thing you need to understand. There's a difference between being acquainted with somebody or knowing somebody and having a relationship with somebody. You can live in the same house with someone and not have a relationship with them. Very true. However, once you realize that and you start assessing your relationship, you want to assess your relationships for their depth or their richness. And if you have relationships that are rich, then you can bet your funky wah tootsie, you are going to be rich yes, you're and benefit. wealthy. Yes. You will benefit from it. So let's unpack this a little bit, shall we? Yes, yes, because okay. relationships are, and I want you all, as we're speaking about this, talking about this, and as you're absorbing this, I want you to apply it to yourself, you mm -hmm. know? I mean, because it's what Wednesdays are all about, the mm -hmm. Henderson Financial Group. You know, we do a lot of mind studies because we want to actually go back and analyze, and diagnose ourselves. And a good and the scripture says, if you want to learn something, if you want to really learn something, you need to study yourself and how you think in your mind. And and why do you do things like that? And why do you think this? And why do you fear this? And what are what are your beliefs? So on Wednesday, we get into the mind things. On Saturdays, we talk more about, you know, product and strategies and the numbers. And, you know, I hope you talk about interest rates on Saturday. I've been queuing up Facebook posts about interest rates and credit cards because that has been so heavy. Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> do you mind? Of course you don't mind. Carry on, daughter. Listen, maybe you should talk about this on Saturday. Yeah, I'll put that on the agenda. Saturday, we're going to talk about one of the topics will be interest rates. And because I don't, the average person doesn't realize that every time the Fed increases interest rates, that their credit card interest rates are going up. They don't care. Most people don't even know what their credit card interest rate is. They don't care. As long as they pay the minimum. I saw a statement the other day where this person had a $2,000 balance mm -hmm. and it would take them 11 years right. if they paid the minimum. That's right. The, the problem that I have with this, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to come on your show Saturday, <laughs> but the problem that I have with this is that uh, there are so many people who are putting everyday living expenses on credit cards, right. such as groceries, gas, things like that, the essentials on credit cards, not realizing the amount that you're overpaying for because of the interest right. and interest rates are consistently going up. So yes, on Saturday, you talk a lot about money. Please talk about that. And also talk about the fact that I'm going to do a podcast on it too. Also talk about the fact that they need to eliminate that debt. Right. With debt elimination. Right. But, but see, talking about it, that's why Wednesday is so important. Having mm -hmm. the strength not just to hear it, but to do something about it. To change it. it. Right. Okay. So let's it. get back to Wednesday. Yes, 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 okay. yes. As, so, you were, as, as you were, I was sorry. saying, <laughs> On today, that's why you need both Wednesdays yeah, you and do. you also need Saturdays because Wednesday is going to give you what's, you know, the invisible, the power mm -hmm. behind it. It's going to give you that, mm, like, you know, how can you do that kind of magical mm -hmm. stuff? Because most people are not working on their minds. They're not working on their strength. They're not working on, you know, the cause. Mm -hmm. They're working more on the effects. And Even thinking about, I love that you say this, the Wednesday is like the motor, the engine. Yes. Because thinking about interest rates, which Mr. Anderson is going to talk about on Saturday, maybe wink, wink, right? So if he talks about interest rate and debt and, and a way to eliminate your credit card debt and eliminate your bad debt, the debt that isn't helpful for you, unless you understand the power of relationships, which we're going to talk about today, when, by the time when we show people our debt elimination strategy, they're always blown away. Yes. And I never knew this. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been doing it. The relationships. That's right. You got to know someone. Yeah. You got you got to have a relationship, mm -hmm. especially like with the Henderson Financial Group. I mean, having a relationship with us and being open and receptive is a good thing. I mean, you cannot go back. You can go forward because you'll be enlightened. And you'll mm -hmm. learn something that you did not know. And you always want to do that. And we were born to 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 the, the creator gave us life to discover, to develop, to grow, to expand. We're all about expansion. Now, if you don't want expansion, then you don't listen to or don't tune into the Henderson Financial mm -hmm. Group because we're about expanding and that's mm -hmm. why we love it so much and that's why we can talk to you down to earth language because we want you to get it i mean jesus tried to speak, speak to the people in metaphors and parables a lot of times they didn't get it so we bring it here now hopefully you understand what a metaphor and a parable is mm -hmm. just because i said the watch it don't get you to rent a wheel i'm not talking about a ge or a kenmore okay i'm not talking about a samsung uh, washing machine metaphorically if the washer don't get you you think you got away the mm -hmm. rent a wheel, it's not over yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just because you're here right now, it's not over yet. So don't toot your horn and braggadocious and think you all that because it's not over yet. And I can see it be on your dying bed. Then you can say, I got you, I won. But don't do it <laughs> because I'm going to tell you something. It will come back to haunt you. That's something called karma. Okay? So you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep learning. 
maybe in the, you know, when I'm about to take my last breaths, I'm going to say, ah, y'all so stupid. <laughs> I go, think you can have a out. you can have a healthy dose of both. Yeah, you can have a healthy dose of you big I'm not enough. I'm gonna yourself. say it until because I don't want karma to come back and somebody oh, call man. me stupid. Come you on, know you know big up yourself now. Nah. Big up yourself now. <laughs> Do it. Big up yourself. If not you, then who? Right. Okay. So let's go back. So relationships. So let's talk about um, what is relationships. The when I think about relationships, and we briefly talked about you knowing someone does not classify as you having a relationship with that person. And this is always interesting. And y'all really need to hear this because when people DM me or inbox me, that's social media talk, asking me for things, the first thing that I think before I ignore them is we don't have a relationship. Yes. yes. We don't have a relationship. We don't relate to each other. Yes. In a way, relate ship that is going to take us somewhere. Where are we going? Yes, and stop right there, because while you're saying that, mm -hmm. when you said that, I thought about people who do believe that there, there is a source, a God, mm -hmm. and some people that have a conversation with this source, mm -hmm. and some people never, mm -hmm. but when they get in the jam, they go, help me, Lord. Right. Like, like, well, we don't have a relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't even know you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, back. I didn't mean to cut in. But I, 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 it's okay. I understand but it, where it, I get it, was, it from. It was going right, you know. No problem. It was right in sync. No yeah. offense taken. So when someone just call you out of blue, and they just like, help me. What? Right, right. I, I just got one of those. And they really need help. They, re they really needed help. But she came. She's up north and she came. I mean, she called me because a good client who was helped so much, who was mm -hmm. so happy, mm -hmm. referred her because she's her cousin and she mm -hmm. was stressing, headache, had to go to the I hospital. think it's beautiful that you can help her with the tools that will yeah. allow her to help herself. Yes, I did. I showed right. her something that her other financial people had, you know, the big boxes right. with a number didn't even think about or even right. care about. Right. I told her, all you got to do is do it. She said, oh, my God. Oh, you, you did more. You didn't charge her the fee and you gave oh, her the strategy. Oh, well, well, you know, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I gave her the strategy, uh -huh. but it was something that, that I know, like, that hey, was like okay. don't need an apple, you don't want. Got you. Okay. Like good, good, good. Yeah. Good. That's important. But she she Not had a relationship that. with someone. Yes. Who knew you. Who, who we have a relationship. And they called you. Yes. On your cell phone. Yes. Mm. Called you on your cell phone yes. and you helped them out. I just gave, I told him, don't, I love that. don't do this, do that. Do this. But that's powerful. And the, Very say, and, and the client called me back saying, oh my God, mm -hmm. Rob, you, you helped her so much, mm -hmm. my cousin, you know? Mm -hmm. Now the cousin says she did what I told her to do. Mm -hmm. Now she wants more. Yes. Now I'll go and tell, okay, I gave you the appetizers. Now let me tell you what the meal plan looks like. Right. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's, let's continue the conversation with relationships. It's important to note that relationships take you places. Not just you, but the other person too. That's in interesting. So relate, ship. How do we relate to each other? And how can we both not unilaterally, not I just want to, you to take me somewhere and you aren't going to, I'm not going to take you anywhere. How can we establish this relationship so that when it's time for me to take a voyage and a journey, the boat is already there? The ship is already there. It's almost like saying, what do I need to do to be able to have a car in my driveway so that when I get up in the rising and have to go to work or wherever I want to go, I walk outside and it's already there. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do? Do I have to, before I even need it, do I have to make sure my credit is straight? Do I have to make sure I get the cash? Do I have to service the car? Do I have to take care of the car? I can't just buy the car drive it and never get it serviced, never put gas in it, never do anything, never wash it, never take care of it. And then one day you walk outside and you said, I've had this car and for six months and now I go in here to drive it and it won't take me anywhere. Hmm. What have you done? Have you serviced the car? No. And I know that a lot of people miss the importance of relationships. And it's so unfortunate because if you really understood relationships on a deeper level, you'd understand that relationships will take you not only somewhere, but they will take you further than your wildest imagination. And on top of that, you 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 need it, and you're absolutely right, and you need it a lot of times when you least even expect it, mm -hmm. and you have the relationship, it's like having um, a lot of uh, references, a lot of mm -hmm. uh, contact inside of your your your, mm -hmm. your 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 memory bank you know i mean tools that you that you can use because none of us have ever none wherever we are wherever we are especially if we consider ourselves successful which is a journey not a destiny 
you haven't, we, none of us have gotten here by ourselves. We all need each other. We will be called mm -hmm. interdependent, not de independent, mm -hmm. but interdependent. Someone helped us. We, we, we're, we're standing on so many people's shoulders. You know, someone helped us do this and learn this and even gave us the ideology or even the well of thought, even the God think that we can do this. We saw it. Somebody did it. You know what I mean? It's that person right there helped. I was, uh, I was reminded of how uh, I was driving in the car and I was driving my Porsche and I left the office mm -hmm. and uh, I put the top back. And so I left the office, I took off and I was Gary to go on the expressway. Mm -hmm. And it was an unmarked car put on uh, flashing lights. Mm -hmm. It was an undercover police officer. He was, you know, unmarked car. He mm -hmm. pulled me over and he pulled me over. He got out. He says, you, 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 you're driving really fast. Where are you going? And I said, oh my God, I, I just left the office. I got to get home. I'm running late. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, he says, that sticker on the, on, the, on, the, um, on the bumper on the back of your car. I said, what sticker? He says, the blue and black sticker. A little square. That your favorite daughter put there. Sticker mm -hmm. that my favorite daughter put there because her, her ex-husband mm -hmm. is a police officer. Mm -hmm. And that is an emblem mm -hmm. that they give friends and family. Mm -hmm. Now, let's th let's talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. That emblem, when this stranger, complete complete stranger, pulled me over, and he looked at the tag, but he looked right next to it. It was a black and blue little stripe, mm -hmm. stripe emblem. That's it. Didn't have no words on it. Mm -hmm. He looked at that and he asked me, "Was I a police officer first? Mm -hmm. And I said, "No." And he says, where did I get it? Mm -hmm. And I told him my, my son-in-law. Mm -hmm. And he says, okay, be safe. Just like that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. No, that's real life. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the world we live in. Mm -hmm. That's real life. No work, no no. He saw that, that relationship. I see you put it on there and you said, put it on just for protection. Mm -hmm. what, what, when you did that, that relationship, you figured that one day that could help me? Of course. You know I want to help you. <laughs> I do like two, you. Two, 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 two. <laughs> no, but you asked if I want to help you, of course. And I know you like you need you pop. What is this? Yeah. That's what, right. what? What? You, what, what? Okay, I see. Right. I get that. Like, okay, I see. And this guy, I never met the police officer. Mm -hmm. He looked at that, mm -hmm. and he let me go. That's the relationship. That's what I mean. You guys do not know. What was uh, Shay says? Best sticker to have mm -hmm. before. Heisey put that sticker on my bumper of my... Getting pulled over left and right. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even know that that even was on Existed, the planet. Existed, right. I didn't know it was on the planet. Mm -hmm. But this is what I'm trying to say, and I want you all to think also about your relationships. You got to have relationships in all aspects of your life because you need protection out here. This is the jungle, and it's from job, it's from health, it's from finance. Do you actually think you could... A lot of y'all go to banks, credit unions, and y'all don't know the manager. Don't yeah. even have a person, Susie or Janie, who can recognize mm -hmm. you just in case you lose your uh, your driver's license. I say, come on in here. Yeah. And it reminds me. So you say the protection component, which is very, very real and true. It also brings up another point. You need relationships because people know something that you don't know. Yeah. It's, it's so much we can build. on. Yeah. This. People know stuff that you don't know. Like mm -hmm. this lady called me. She mm -hmm. didn't even know. She was like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm in the jam. I said, what do you have? She said, I'm in the jam. I only have this. I said, are you not in the jam? Just move this around, that around, that around. And you don't have to pay no taxes and everything. She go, oh, my God, how mm -hmm. you saw that? Mm -hmm. Someone told her about me, mm -hmm. the relationship. And we and listen, let me tell you something. Just because somebody called himself a financial planner, mm -hmm. a financial, uh, 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 financial advisor, mm -hmm. those are just titles. Mm. Those are just titles. Mm -hmm. We're not all alike. Our viewpoint, our culture, our experiences. We're not we're not all alike. I mean, you you talking to a financial planner that was born rich, that don't even look like you, and it was born rich. Mother and father grew up. They they can't they cannot understand. Matter of fact, they don't even want to deal with some of the challenges that you may have because they can't relate. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's real, real true. It's the same thing about a doctor or a lawyer. You know, they, they, they're like, what are you talking about? 
So just because you have a title, that doesn't mean anything. You have to have a personal relationship with the people who's going to be helping develop and expand your life. And the thing about it is you have to establish these relationships before you need the help. Yes. Oh, that's important. Yes. So while you watch a Netflix, you could be cultivating. And these relationships go back a long way too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, I can call somebody from 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's very, very important. And it helps you in all aspects of your life. You cannot reach the zenith part. You cannot be all you could be without the help of others. Those are relationships. So you, you cannot be isolated. You can't say, I don't know. I don't want to know anyone. You need to know. So what about the people who think that they're going to pretend like they have relationships with people? Like they're going to trick them. Like, yeah, we got a relationship, but it's really not a relationship. They're just users or it appears to be one side. What it always get found out. Yeah. You know, they can't, they can't, a good lie, you know, cannot mm -hmm. last. It always comes mm -hmm. out. That's a good thing about truth, you know? But when you think about it, I, I was in the uh, in, in, I was in the bank, and it was real real crowdy. And I stopped by the bank because I needed to get something, and it was very crowded. And the security guard recognized my face, mm -hmm. and I asked, "Was the manager there?" And she says, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. And I says, "I can't." This is, I said, "This is like an immigration place. Or something. <laughs> this place is not like what's going on here. How many people here like immigration? They get passports here? Or what? What's going on in this bank?" And she says, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot here. And I said, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't do this. I got to get back to my office. So Ms. Henderson, let me, let me, let me, let me call the manager. I don't want to call his name, but mm -hmm. you know, he, he says, yeah, let him know you here. Next thing I know, she said, Ms. Henderson, come this way. Mm -hmm. you see? Relationships. It's relationships. Yeah. And so, I was in and out of that in 10 minutes. Not waiting in the immigration line. Not waiting in that. So how do we cultivate relationships? Let's give the people something to think about. Because now we understand the importance of relationships. We understand that just because you know someone, that does not mean that you have a relationship with them or you know of someone. And that's a different suit because with social media, you can feel like you know people and you really know of them, but you don't really, really know them. Mm. Can I get some snaps on that? Yeah, you know I like that. You know give, me no, all right, give me a look. You think you know me, but you don't really know me. You know of me, right? So how do you get to move from that point to establishing relationships? How do you build that? Because we've talked about the importance of having these relationships before you need them. Because if you wait until you need the relationships to try to establish the relationship, it is going to come off as you being fake or phony or you just needing something or you're a user or you're only nice to me because you need something. You know, you know, and when you said that, I, I when you said, how do you establish them? And I, and I, uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't help but, you know, have a flashback and say that, you know, the universe and the universal laws are so beautiful. When you are doing, when you're, when you are trying to expand mm -hmm. and do the right thing, it is impossible for the universe to not send the right people on your path. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to build something and grow and be better and be all you could be, I promise you the universe will send the right people to you, but you have to have love. You got to be open. You got to be receptive. You got to be looking around like, why did I, like you in a, a, a kid in the candy store, mm -hmm. you know, you got to be looking, you got to be listening. Hey, I am trying to build this table. Okay. And they, people see you trying to do something. When people see you trying to do something, I promise you, People will come to help you. You say, hey, do you know how to do this? They say, no, I don't know how to do this. Hey, do you know how to build this table? Oh, yeah, I, I build tables. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. That's why I was so eager when a lady called from, mm -hmm. her, from her cousin. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm so stuck. And her cousin said that she was having anxiety, headache, and getting mm -hmm. sick over oh, this wow. matter. Yeah, no, she really was. Yeah, stress will do that to you. She was under stress. She said, Rob, mm -hmm. I just need you to just talk to her. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what the subject about. But when I talked to her and she told me, I go, oh, that's solvable. Mm -hmm. All you got to do. And she said, Easy. oh, my God. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. now, I felt now she felt good, mm -hmm. but I felt good, too. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't even think about, OK, you got to pay me. You know, I, I just felt good in the moment. Mm -hmm. Now I know the universe will take care of me in terms of rewarding me because it always has. Mm -hmm. That so, was good. I yeah. like that. So 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 to build the relationships, first of all, you got to be about something. <laughs> Very important. Yes. <laughs> so if you just sitting under the tree. <laughs> If you Netflixing and chilling every day, right. if you social media sliding all day and twice on Sundays, right. how are you going to build relationships? You can't just say, hey, I want to be rich. Give me this relationship. Right. No, it don't work like that. Right. You got to be about something. And really the important part of that is because the people who 
you need to be connected to are being about something. Yes. So in order for you to be connected to them, you have to be out being about something so y'all can be in the same room. And it's like a magnet. They'll know if you if you got something. You know what I mean? Right. It's like it's like when we start saying, okay, we want to go more into um uh cryptocurrency, we're gonna learn more about cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. more about blockchain. All of a sudden we get this book. Mm -hmm. And then from there we sign on. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, you now, get other things. And yeah. then when the people, when you go mm -hmm. to the class and you send it, they see you go, Oh, this person here's a gym. Look at this person right here. Mm -hmm. This person want to know something. Mm -hmm. They gravitate to you. They say, mm -hmm. I will help you. I'm fully anticipating that when I go to the conference in June. You know, I, I look yesterday. I think that conference don't start until like the 13th or 14th. No, it starts. It's, that. One, it's one that, that he's going to have uh, the speakers. And I just looked at my magazine. Oh, right, right. The Monday. The Monday is the pre-conference and then the Tuesday. So you want me to get your ticket? You coming? I mean, yeah, because I'll be back Sunday. I asked you, did you want to come up? But and you, you said it was like the that eighth and ninth. No, no I don't know about the dates. I said that I'm leaving on Sunday. See, I'll so, be, I'll be so I can be nice and settled. It don't start until Tuesday. I'm taking the Monday. I did the Monday um, session as well. Oh, the pre-conference. But you want to come up Tuesday, or you want to come up Monday? Yeah, you want probably. Me to book get off? Okay, let's talk. <laughs> I can do it right now. <laughs> but the point is, if you don't attend, which I would love for you to attend, I love father-daughter time, and then we're learning. If you don't attend, I am fully anticipating making new relationships because I know that I am going to stand out, number one. Yeah, because you know it might not be a lot of people that look like you. Correct. Women or black women. That's true. That's, that's true. Women or black women. That's true. And, and every time they're going to be looking at me like, how you, what you, a dinosaur? That, exactly. How you even know about this? That's, they're going to ask you, how you even, how you even know you about this? And they're going to be, come, okay, what are you doing? And then they will help you. Yeah. So Monday when I'm by myself, they'll make their assessments. But then Tuesday when you come, they're going to think you're my husband. Well, I just keep saying daddy. Yeah. I'll put a sticker on. This is my dad. Daddy. Not don't get it. Twisted. We'll talk about that. Later. Okay. Okay. But anyway, so, so, um, the question so when was, you're learning, right. When you're in your, in your element, in your zone, in your purpose, in what you are really called here to do. Right. And I know you might be like, what's my purpose? You already know what it is. Like peel back all the stuff, cut off the TV, cut off the social media. It'll come to you like that. Right. You may dream about it tonight. And when you are in that flow of doing what you're called here to do, you'll do things like attend conferences, go to meetings, so uh, go, right. just things like that. And you will meet people that are in that room as well who can help advance you to the next level. They may know something that you don't know. They may tell you about something that you were not aware of. They may have a solution to a problem that you could you didn't even think could be solved. But because you are up in Adam. And doing something and doing what you are called to do, now you are positioning yourself to be connected with people to take you further. Yes, it, it, it works just like that. Yeah, you easy. Know, it, it really does. When you are mm -hmm. about something, when you're about your business, mm -hmm. when you're trying to grow and expand and learn something, and you're doing your research and your development, and you put effort in it, you don't have to know when and how. You don't have to. All you got to do is show the interest and say, okay, I'm woke now. And this is what I want to do. And I want to learn more about this. The universe loves that. The universe is looking for all of us to wake up and expand and mm -hmm. then grow. A lot of us are just, just sleeping and just being content mm -hmm. and just living off the land. There's a lot mm -hmm. of work to be done, yeah. you know, that there really, really is. And you feel so juvial when you're doing that because you feel useful. You feel, you know, muscular. You feel, you know, energy, you know, and you 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 you, you want to, to learn more because it empowers you. Mm -hmm. And you want to get that feeling. And when you start getting that feeling, man, you get hooked on it, man. It it is your adrenaline start going, and you feel like yes, yes, you feel accomplished, and that's how you. And you, let me tell you something: when you feel like that, it, it affects your mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. It really, really does. Then you want to deal with you and make sure, okay, I got to lose this weight. You just want to take care of other aspects, is to sharpen up because you want to be there to enjoy your journey that you are embarking on and where you're going. Wherever I am right now, listen. I have a little sign in my head that says, boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. <laughs> you just get started. Always. That sound always comes to me. That whole thought comes to me when I'm learning something or whatever. And it says, wow, you ain't. I don't I don't hear it audibly, but in my thoughts, it say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. And when I when I think that, I say, oh, my God, it's so much more. And it said, oh, you think this is something. Just don't lose your cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just stay grounded. Just don't just, drink the juice. Just don't drink the juice. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Overindulge. Don't overindulge in anything, mm -hmm. you know? Don't go out and have an affair. Don't mm -hmm. get beside yourself. Please God, don't. You know? <laughs> just <laughs> that's a kiss of death. So don't do any of that. 
then I'm going to, and then it's like the source says, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. When you say that to yourself, then you know that there's always more. That's why I always say good, better, best, never let them rest. And so your good becomes your better and, and your better, better becomes, becomes your best. best. And that happens. Mm -hmm. you, you start saying, oh man, it's good, man. You ain't seen nothing yet. Then become better. You're like, oh, you ain't seen, oh my God. And that best is infinity really because it always Yes. And here's the thing. So this all ties into building relationships. When we're talking about you being in the room that you need to be in, and, and we're not just talking about a physical room, we're talking about the environment. When you are there, you are so focused in and going through the process of connecting and discovering that you don't have time for the foolishness. No, you don't. Like there are so many things that are going on and you'd be like, I didn't even know that existed. No, you didn't. Right. Like what? Like really? So if you think about, if you know all the news, if you know all the tea, That's about nothing. that already tells me that you are not locked in on something that you're supposed to be locked in on. Right, because you have too much idle time. That's right, because think about it. As we're talking right now, there are a group of people, man. They mm -hmm. are just into space and NASA, mm -hmm. into discovery mm -hmm. about other galaxies and stuff. They mm -hmm. really into it. They don't know what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're not even trying to keep up with the Joneses, mm -hmm. you know. And that's just now. Think about oceanography. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a whole mm -hmm. nother environment. You think about, you think the internet and technology is something. If you think about the whole world of oceanography, what's under the ground, what you know, energy that's in the water, how mm -hmm. deep the water is and you start thinking about all these different areas people are focused on that mm -hmm. they, they really are what are you doing what are you focused on if you're just mm -hmm. doing mundane stuff then mm -hmm. you're missing your call and that's why yeah. you don't feel good but focus on something yeah. i don't care what it is you can learn about so many things that you never even heard of and so and I, I like that it reminded me yesterday i was working i was working from home and i was so locked in from early like right after i dropped my son off to school you know kyla's my daughter's out of town. She comes back today. Yeah, I've missed her greatly. More than we oh she's in Curacao. Well, she's coming back from Curacao today. I've never been to Curacao. No? I don't think I have to tell her that. She um, me there. <laughs> yeah, she's in Curacao. 22. So I was just locked in and doing my work today, and I was just getting stuff done and getting it done. And by the time my stomach was like, girl, if you don't eat, you, you, something's going to happen. So I got up from my, my desk, and I was like, what? It's like 12 o'clock? or 2.30 or something like that, whatever the time was, it felt I, it, it felt like I didn't have any concept of time because I was doing what I needed to do. And so while I was in the kitchen, I opened up my app to Instagram. And when I opened it up, I saw these posts about something. And I was like, let me close this because I didn't even know what y'all had going on in the world hmm. because I was so locked in with what TV. I had to do. Right. And it's just like that. It's very important that you realize that you're going to have to give up a lot of the stuff that you're used to. You're going to have to really create a new reality. And I wanted to touch on the people who are shy or who are introverts, because believe it or not, y'all, I'm an introvert. I know you may not believe well, I it. I am too. I'm an introvert. But for those people, when we talk about establishing relationships, it can kind of be scary, right? Yes. You're like, what are you talking about? How am I? You're telling me to walk on my purpose and meet people and then not just meet them, but connect with them in a way that we establish deep relationships that go beyond the surface. Well, here's the thing. If you are connected to your purpose, you won't be focusing on the people. There's a big difference. When you're focusing on the people, you're focusing on what kind of bag they have, what they're wearing, if they're going to like you, if silly they're going to think you could silly stuff. So now you're like, I'm nervous. I don't know what to say. If you are so deeply focused on your purpose, when you actually meet the people and are in the room with the people, guess what you're going to be talking about? Things that are related to your purpose. Right. You're not going to care what the person is wearing. You're not going to care. Driving. So that's why I can always tell when somebody like you disconnected, why are you commenting on this person's hair? Or they just like, we are here for this. Right. So that will help you introverts and people who are shy, whatever other labels you want to give yourself, understand this is about the purpose and then the people come and then you deepen the relationship. Don't go in and like, oh, I'm going to meet these people because I want to have these relationships and they're going to take me somewhere. No. Yeah. So it's all connected. And if you find well, it's hard for me to establish relationships, I'm not meeting any people. It's I'm not a good networker. Well, because you aren't connected to a purpose. You are focused on, oh, how many numbers can I get? How many cards can I get? Because this person can take me this and this. I'm going to tell you right now, you meet me on day one and you're like, oh, can you give me this and give me that? What? That's not going to go well. <laughs> That's Now, Mr. Henderson may like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. me. <laughs> you know, we, we, you know relationships, and, and a lot of people don't know how to cultivate them. But if you really are on a journey and you're trying to be all you can be, you're going to definitely need to have connections. 
you know you're gonna definitely mm -hmm. need connection you know uh today when i was driving in mm -hmm. I, I got the audio book bruce jackson you know oh i saw that yes mm -hmm. yes very very good uh and i'm i think i'm on the 15 16 chapter mm -hmm. i think in 11 in 11 chapter he mentioned me he says robert henderson down in florida oh really yeah so oh, i'm in the okay. book you know it's financial advice famous now yeah well i'm in his book he's, he's been famous and you know but but, but I'm thinking about relationships i remember in the year 2000 when, when bruce jackson uh they had the they had the largest uh black owned entertainment law firm in the country mm -hmm. and it was, it was in manhattan new york mm -hmm. and they had all these artists you know from ll cool j to uh mary j Blige and all that and i was actually doing a lot of the, a lot of financial planning and mm -hmm. stuff for that but bruce said he he left there because music business was changing with all the uh streaming know, streaming and all mm -hmm. that and he left and he mm -hmm. went to microsoft mm -hmm. we went to microsoft in his book in his book there he says "Cause never far from home mm -hmm. uh what i love about bruce is like he hadn't drank the kool-aid anyway he's very smart you know he had graduated from um um uh georgetown mm -hmm. and he's an attorney and he's an attorney at, at, at microsoft in 23 years and bruce was saying after he he had left new york closed his practice and he uh, was living in Seattle. I remember talking to him while he was in Seattle. Mm -hmm. He left his family they were in New York. Wow. Uh, Mount Vernon and had to move to uh, Microsoft in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And he says the first year, first year was so hard because his, he was the only spot there. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the whole city, not only, not only Microsoft itself, you mm -hmm. know. And then at the second year, he said he tried the culture was just killing him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He just had no nobody to relate to, no no relationship with nobody. Mm -hmm. Just he would do his work, getting at six o'clock at night and leave at eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. You know, but he just was like lonely and stuff. You mm -hmm. know, and he said he started to quit. He had made up his mind he was going to quit and, and move, go back to Mount and go Vernon. back to uh, Manhattan, New York, mm -hmm. and be an attorney. But he said just then, Brad, the guy named Brad, who's the president of Microsoft today, right oh, wow. now, became president of Microsoft. Mm -hmm. And he heard that Bruce, the only black that was going to quit, he had a meeting with Bruce. That's mm. in the book. Wow. And he told Bruce, what's wrong? Bruce was telling him, man, it's just the culture where I was not cutting it. He says, okay, we're going to put you in a different department. Wow. He changed the whole uh, department. Brad is very, very uh, um, uh, respective of uh, diversity. Mm -hmm. He's into that. And he Even put, before it was a thing. Yes. It's important. Yes. yes. Um, and Bruce, this guy is brilliant. And they hit it off really good. Wow. He built a relationship with him. Brad put him into sales mm -hmm. where he was over like $20 billion in terms of sales. Moved him back to uh, in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And he's been there for 23 years now. Oh, wow. And that book, uh, Never Far From Home, mm -hmm. Bruce Jackson, Brad wrote the foreword. Oh, wow. And, and he's the president of Microsoft right now. he's the president of Microsoft right wow. now. Wow. So that's a good relationship. You see yes. That? And he would have mm -hmm. left, but hadn't Brad mm -hmm. Come in and came say, in and they sat right. down at one on one. That's right. And told him, "That's what I'm talking about." Yeah, a lot of I things love it. You, you don't you don't know, man. You gotta have relationship. You gotta have a friend. A lot of you all have your money, the most valuable thing you all have. With people, your retirement, with people you don't even have a no relationship, relationship with. You just a number. And when you call there, they tell you to hit line two or line three. Mm -hmm. They don't talk to you about no financial planning. They don't tell you, okay, this is this. They don't tell you about the market. They don't care. Mm -hmm. And they charge you a fee and you pay them. You don't see the fee, but it comes out every month or every quarter, every year. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a second. No relationship. You should have a relationship with your plumber, your doctor, your beautician or barber, your air conditioned guy, your dentist, your banker, your somebody at the credit union. You got to start thinking about what I'm saying. Your grocery at the grocery store. I mean, you need to you need to talk and say, okay, I'm so and so. This is what I'm doing. This this is your money. This is your life. You need to have a relationship with them. I'm telling you, it's so important mm -hmm. because now all of a sudden you want to go into business. You don't have a relationship. They don't know you. You say, man, I've been seeing your face for ten years, sir. Man, you never came and spoke to me. That's I don't know right. who you are. I was just gonna say it starts with a simple hello. That's right. And all those instances that you talked about, the bank, the grocery store, the, all the things, you'd be surprised at how many people don't say, hi, how are you doing? Right. Hey, do how you doing? No, I learned that a long time ago. Yes. And, and which is, to be honest with you, when people come here and call here and they need this and they need that and this and this, and I'm sitting here, I'm looking at them, I'm like, where are your relationships? <laughs> you 40 and you 50, what landed you in my office, a complete stranger, and I'm not talking about needing service. Right. But needing some money, needing some support, needing some backing. You need something, not that you want to become a client or things like that. 
but you need, you got to, you got a business idea, baby. I got this idea. And all I need is your hundred grand, Hyacinth. <laughs> Where your friends at? That's right. Where's your team? Well, you don't know the banker. You don't know people to help you and to give you. Why are you calling me a complete stranger? And this is very important that people must really, really understand this. So I love that you brought up speaking and making relationships or starting the process of establishing a relationship just by saying hello. Because you would be surprised at how many people do not say hello. I know. Don't say hello. I did Carolina, your grandson's school today. That's a story for a different day. However, I hadn't done it in over a year. And when I open up the doors, I'm, hey, good morning. How you doing? This and this. The parents are always blown away. What? They're always, because the rest of the people in the car lounge just like opening the door. And, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. The children, they smile and things like that. So start just by saying, hello. How are you? It's me. What you're looking for? <laughs> it's not like a song. Lionel Rich. Hello, it is, right. Exactly. Hello, it's me. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> yeah. All right. What else you want to add? Relationships are very, very mm -hmm. important. And a lot of companies don't, you know, you call their, you don't have a relationship. You don't mm -hmm. know what to do. They don't have mm -hmm. strategy, you know? So that's why it's so important that you have a financial relationship with the Henderson Financial Group. We can help you more than, wherever you think you are, I'm telling you, you can do better. And it's things that you know, you don't even know that you don't even know that you could do. You think mm -hmm. that you have to do it this way. No, but there's always a better way. And that's all we do is think of better ways. Yeah. We 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 bring that added value. So I want you to give us a call. 305-825-1444. To talk about your person, get ready, you're getting ready to retire, mm -hmm. or you need some strategies in terms of real estate or investment, or or you need to talk about you know wills and trusts, or you don't really understand it, you know. Having a relationship, but we got to have a relationship. You just can't call the office and give me some information. No. Yeah, I tell people all the time, we're, 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 we're personal chefs. This is not the drive through We're going to be like, I want number one, I want number two. My friend told me to call and I want what they got. I want number two. I don't even know if you're allergic to pickles. Number two got pickles on it. Did you know that? No, I ain't know it had pickles. They didn't tell me it had pickles <laughs> on it. So now you, I'm over here coding because you gave me something that with pickles. So I always say that when you call, we're like personal chefs. You got to get to know you. What are your preferences? What are your tolerances? And then let us build something that's specific to you. you it's know, like having the chef come out and say, hello, and, madam. And it's so real. It's so real. You know, uh, DJ, mm -hmm. uh, my five-year-old grandson, mm -hmm. he likes to come in my, in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. He likes to just jump on the bed. He likes to jump and do flips on the bed. Mm -hmm. So we just put his butt in karate. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he... Um, Jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed. Now, my sleep number, mm -hmm. my sleep number on my side mm -hmm. is good. But on mom's side, the, the, the numbers keep going down. Oh, because it's used to him jumping on the right. bed. Right. And then I'll pump it up and it'll go up. And then, it'll, it'll, you know, about an hour later, it sink back down. Oh. So I call the company, right? I'm right. like, hey, you know, I think you got to come check this out. Right. It says, it's going to be, you know, I spent $7,000 for a mm -hmm. bed. You know what I mean? I mean, I had it 3D, but it's, I love the bed. You know what I mean? But it's not, it's still not under warranty? Yeah, but, but, I've had it over almost four years now. Oh wow, that's but awesome. but the ladies, but listen, first lady who I talked to, she said it's going to be one hundred forty dollars for somebody to come out and check it out. Mm -hmm. No problem, just mm -hmm. get it done. Mm -hmm. I can write a check. Ninety five percent mm -hmm. of your problem. Solved by writing a check. Writing a check. Yes. No problem. Yes. Paid over the phone. Bam. They came out. I called on Saturday. Monday they came out. Mm -hmm. Right. I was here. Mom was home. Say some people. Two young boys came out. Stayed for seven minutes. Like oh, they, what they did was tuck the plug loose and put it back. And say, okay. <laughs> And then they left. No, 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 Can you no, no. That? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, this is like how y'all how y'all have y'all money. Y'all going to Fidelity and Vanguard. They just they don't care about you. So so no, she's no, telling no. me. So I said, Oh, let me talk to him. I said, so did the problem still persist? Yes. Right. So I told the guy, I said, listen, he said, sometimes you just gotta just reboot. Like, what do you mean? Like turn on turn your computer on, turn it off. You oh. charge me 150 for that, bro. You gotta do something. What? Do so a they, backflip. So they say, okay, uh, you, you know, if it goes down by the night or whatever, mm -hmm. after we leave. Then you got to call the company order a part. Mm -hmm. It's called the air chamber thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I got home, damn thing went down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hit the button and went back up, right? Mm -hmm. But it's going to slow, like a, like a slow leak on the tire. Mm -hmm. It goes down. So the number, the sleep number, her number is not dead the way she like it from. Oh, so you program the number and the number keeps changing. Right. Gotcha. Because it's like a slow leak in the air. Gotcha. The tire just keeps going the down. The PSI, the pressure. Gotcha. Right, the pressure, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so then... I told them, I said, listen, you know, did they say anything? Whatever. They said, no, we got to call the people. Mm -hmm. We got to call the main office and say, hey, we think we need an air pressure pump or whatever on mm -hmm. that side. So how about this morning I called? Mm -hmm. So I look at the bed was low. I hit it, pump it up. But I know an hour is going to slow leak out. Mm -hmm. All right. So what happens? I call a company 
first of all, I call the 800 number and it keep me on hold. And then the music come on, then the music stop, then it's hang up. Mm -hmm. So then I call again, 800 number. I then I don't like then the music come on and then it stopped. And I'm like, hello, somebody there? Mm -hmm. Nobody talk. Somebody there? Hello. I said, oh my God, ain't nobody here. <laughs> The they working stopped. from home in a bed. Exactly. <laughs> they on mute. So I'm, hang up. So I'm saying, Lord have mercy. Good help is so hard to find. Jesus. So I hung up the phone. Mm -hmm. So I call back. Same thing happened. Put me on. Then this time they calling me back. Mm -hmm. So there's a girl on there. She said, Oh, I'm so sorry. I was hearing you, but you couldn't hear right. me. She said, I'm on my phone. I said, Okay. <laughs> so I told her, I told her what happened. I said, Listen, those little Anky Dankies came out there, stayed seven minutes. That was $140. She says, "Well, uh, they did make some notes here. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the air chamber. You gotta order it. You know, and it cost, uh, I don't know, two hundred dollars or something like that. You know." I said, "Okay, I'll order it." Mm -hmm. She said, "Then when the people come out, they're gonna put it in, and that's one hundred fifty dollars." I said, "Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Who you think you're talking to?" <laughs> I said, "That's not service, right? And action. I, that's not service." I said, what are you doing? The mm -hmm. sleep number. That's not, that don't make sense. Right. I paid already. They came out, stayed seven minutes. I told them exactly what they did. Look, Anky Danky came out and they left and they, they like, okay, now you're going to order the part. And you're trying to tell me I ordered the part and I got to pay for them to come back and install the part? Right. No. I mean, what I got to do? Look on YouTube or something? So I said, no, I ain't doing that work. Mm -hmm. So I said, and I told her how frustrated I was. Mm -hmm. She said, you know what? I'm going to give you 65% off and we're not going to, we're going to, to order the part, mm -hmm. sixty five percent off, mm -hmm. and when they come out to install, it's gonna be free. Wow! Especially since you paid that much for the bed, plus you only had like almost four years. How Seven much they thought you paid for the bed? They knew you paid a grip. Seven thousand dollars, right? For a bed. <laughs> <laughs> it does sleep good, though. Not, it's not. It's not for sleep, no. <laughs> I wouldn't have no back problem, mama, so, you know. But I do like it when they come up like this in there. <laughs> anyway, that's. <laughs> but. That's what I mean by relationship. You know what? I thanked her. I said, thank you so much. I'm glad I got somebody with some sense. Mm, you said that. I told her that. Yeah, I say that sometimes. I said, thank I you. I'm glad I got somebody with some sense. A robot's probably not going to replace you as quick as it's going to replace the rest of them. But I said, mm -hmm. that right there, now that's customer service. That's mm -hmm. what you have to do. You don't just, bam, you got to pay this. That's a rip off. That's mm -hmm. a rip off, you know? But this is how the world. So I know what I just said to you guys, I know you guys feel it also. I'm just letting you know you're not alone. We get it too. So it's a jungle out here. It's a maze. That's why it's so important with your money to have someone like the Henderson Financial Group on mm -hmm. your team and have a relationship with us because we can feel. We know exactly. We know what's going on and we'll help you out. What do you say about that? I love it. I love it. It reminds me of how passionate I was talking about the interest rates and credit cards. Yes. And it wasn't even the money show today. Right. Yes. But uh, like you say, when I every time I hear about it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is horrible because I know that there are so many of our people who don't make the connection of how the interest rates um, being raised are affecting them in the long term. And don't get me started, but I got to say a little something, you know, the fact that they are raising the interest rates is really grinding my gears. Why? You just got to let it flow. I mean, you, you, you I mean, I don't think about it when I'm not, but it, they no, it is. About, it's, care about people. That's care the about point. People. It's grinding my gears because, they don't care about the masses. and then they get on TV and lie like a rug. Well, just lie, lie, lie. And then I'm like, being it. that's part of what they do. Lie. You got to learn how to lie like that. The way they lie, they're all dressed up. I, I can't do that. That's why. they are. Those are forces of evil and we are forces of good. Well, that's why forces. That's why we talk to our clients and help yeah. our clients and tell our clients yeah. that, no, we're not paying that. You're not doing that. And we don't just sell anything. If we don't, if we don't like it for ourselves, mm -hmm. we're not telling other people about it. And we always go and check it out first. Mm hmm we, we do read a lot. Goodness oh, gracious. Oh, yeah. We, well, awful lot. That's why I want to be on the beach with the fruit yeah. and fish. Anyway. Um, okay. So I think we're good. Oh, we were talking about Frederick Douglass at the beginning of this show, and then I got sidetracked or something. Remember you said Frederick? Did you say Frederick Douglass? You remember that? No, I think that was another show. <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't. I said that in my head. You said, oh, you're all over social media, highest then, right. then this, and then that's when you start talking about people from kindergarten calling me. And I said, right. yes, and I'm happy that I am all over social media. When I go places, people recognize me and they say things like, you be spitting that money knowledge, you be talking about money and things like this. It reminded me of Frederick Douglass. Did you know that Frederick Douglass was the most photographed man of his time not black man, but the most photographed man of his time. Why is this important? Wow. It is very important because 
the media is such a powerful source and there is a lot of foolishness out there. We need positive people promoting positive messages to be out there. So like at that. first, yeah. So when I thought about that, I was like, you know, yeah, I am on the, and I like that. So maybe now I can't go out with, you know, my hoodie and the sweatshirt in the grocery store. You like I just rolled out. I like, right. I like being unnoticed and unknown. No, like no. But the time is now. And that's you old school. I get it. And I bother me. I, my office is on. No, but we need this. We need representation. I was just reading in the magazine. them talking about, um, I meant to bring it today, but I didn't bring it. They were talking about how the percentage of black Americans investing has increased since 2018, but here's the problem. They don't have enough black financial advisors. And I'm like, we're here. We've been here for 30 years. Right. Right. But a lot of people still don't know about us. No, a lot of people still don't know. Which about is why we what? must be on the internet. But you know, your website, who you put together, has it been approved yet? I, I please call, call a higher power. Cause okay. I've been calling the email and you know, I'm just trying to take the high road. Okay. But all my work, yeah, no call because it's it's. We're in the true trust now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh yeah. Call, again. call, call, call. Right. Get my daddy on you. Uh, yeah, I'm coming now. I'm coming now. <laughs> I'm gonna get that website because let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm very excited for the website. Man, money tracks uh uh have some videos. They're on the website. They are new website. They're on there. They're like one 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 in two minutes. They're, They're very all on good. There. They're all They're on there. Very good. Yeah. Talks. Man, let me tell you something. Our website, as soon as we get it approved, we already had it approved, but now we. Revised second it. layer of approval too. Second, right. Okay. So now mm. free resources, free oh, tools. Man, oh stuff. my gosh. Oh my I'm God. so excited about it's that. Some good stuff. Yeah. You're talking about some break it down to you like a six year old. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to announce it when, when it's uh, the second layer of approval the second layer. that right. I've been right patiently now waiting. Up, but we want to, when, when the second part get up, you're gonna, you guys are going to mm -hmm. love it. All right. All right. So tell them what's coming up. What's coming up Saturday, Saturday at <laughs> Well, that was the executive said that, right? We only got one show now. Right. 9 a.m. in the a.m., the Understanding Money Show, where Mr. Henderson and James T. Thomas, they talk about money, understanding money. And maybe, just maybe, this Saturday, they will talk about interest rates. We'll mention it. <laughs> and how it will affect you. Seriously, how it affects you and your credit card debt. Because, you know, credit card debt is some of the worst debt. No, it's, it's, it's trillions of dollars now. And plus, people... You but, but But think about it. You know, they tell you, we'll give you this card you can charge as much as you mm. want and you only got to pay $50. Man. And a lot of people psychologically don't even care about interest rate as long as they can pay exactly. $50. As long as I'm making the minimum payment. That's right. And and then here's the thing. They now have um, buy now, pay later. Back yes. in my days, they called that layaway. Right. Remember? So they have this Modern electronically day. now. Modern they day call layaway. it buy now, pay later. Do you know they can charge up to 36% interest? Isn't that something? Up to, that's more than credit card payments. Now, who you that's think, more than credit card interest rate. Now who you think they're going to be charging that to? The poor people. That's right. So when you, you see these websites and they have the buy now, pay later, and you're like, oh, yeah, because I, I just got to get it. You don't realize the interest that you could be paying could be up to 36%. This is a problem. Bless it. That's why they say bless it to the ones who have more. Oh, my God. Bless it to the ones who have or they should have, have more. more. You yeah. got to key on that, man. Yeah. The ones that don't have nothing, that mm -hmm. too, that what you have. <laughs> Shall be taken, from, taken you. Away from you. And you don't even realize it because you've broken down in payments that's $30 a month. That, you don't even see that 36% hitting even you that in head. Be gone. Right? You don't even realize that. Like, why am I not going anywhere? Why, why is my financial situation not changing? Why have I been paying this forever? Why am I not making any progress? And this is a real real issue so on saturday at 9 a.m in the a.m maybe they'll talk about interest rates if not i'm coming next saturday we will we will they'll talk about interest rates because y'all need to know will, this we will, we will. and so that saturday at 9 a.m and then we mr henderson and i will be back on next week wednesday for yes. um transitions anything gotta else go. you want to add nope gotta go, gotta go all right until next time peace, peace. love happiness and so the soul train still